found out going to the Sugar Bowl and you're playing Alabama? Uh, super excited. Um, obviously, just to be in the Sugar Bowl is awesome, and then you get to play a team like Alabama. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us. What comes to mind when you think of Crimson Tide? Uh, just dynasty, uh, legendary head coach, obviously. Uh, a lot of national championships, so um, it's a great team, great program. Were you uh, happy to learn that their best player said they wanted to play against you guys in this game? Uh, yeah, I mean, we want to play uh, the best of the best, and we think that we're a team that's capable of playing with the best of the best, so yeah, we're excited to play those guys. Was it hard at all coming down from the high from uh, from Arlington? <laughs> Um, I mean, I felt like I, we definitely enjoyed it uh, over that past week or two weeks or whatever, but uh, we know the job's not finished, and I feel like uh, we're just as motivated to win this game as we were at the Big 12 Championship. So That play uh, that you maybe forced to fumble on, that they ended yeah. up uh, calling an incomplete pass, mm. it, I'm sure that at this point you know what the rules are on that, but do you feel like that should have still been a fumble? <laughs> Yeah, I, the main thing that was weird to me is just the ball never left his hand. So um, I'm not really upset about it uh, just because the game went our way then. So, um, but yeah, it's kind of weird, weird rule. <laughs> it was like you blocked it pretty much. Yeah, right? yeah, I was actually a man on the running back and I saw him run around me. So I thought I better block this ball, I better not let him uh, the running back catch it. I know Coach Darren would be a little upset with me. So I had to jump up in the air. Just got, it was a weird play. Hey, what do we have an Eli Huggins back this year? Uh, it was huge. I mean, he's a huge leader for us. Um, and then, obviously, he's a great player, too. Made a ton of plays. Pretty much saved the game for us at the end of the game. So, um, he completely changed this year, I think. So, it kind of seemed like, on the outside looking in, that you guys kind of slowly started on this march right after that COVID season. Mm -hmm. Made a bunch of changes. Coaches talked about it a lot. How... Yeah. Uh, how big was the shift away from what you guys were like in the locker room and everything that season to where you are now? I mean, it's huge. Um, just the culture is completely different. Um, this is definitely like the closest we've been as a team um, since I've been here. Uh, I feel like we're truly friends and stuff like that. Um, guys really, truly care about each other, and um, that's, that's what made the difference, I think, this year. Was, was, that, was that one COVID year? Was there just a lot of headaches that season, or what, what made the... Yeah, I mean, COVID was just crazy for everybody I know. And then um, it, just the team was never really stable. There's guys in and out, in and out of the locker room. There's a lot of guys who aren't with the program anymore who probably didn't want to be here. Um, so the guys that are here now want to be here, and they really believe in this program. So I think that's the biggest difference. Uh,